I got a buddy, Dane, my best friend, Dane. He's going, he went through a breakup. He went through a, a seven-year relationship breakup. Not a marriage, breakup. And he can't stop bragging about being single, and I hate him for it. He's just bragging about it all the time. He goes, oh, it's so great being single. There's so much freedom. I can do whatever I want, say whatever I want, stay out as late as I want. There's so much freedom. And I'm like, is that freedom? Is that true freedom? Or just does nobody care what you're doing? <laughs> I think that might be it. He comes home at night, opens the door, and goes, I'm home! And his voice just bounces off the back wall. And he goes, oh yeah, no one cared that I had left. All right. Well, I am back now. He keeps talking about all these Tinder dates he goes on, where you just meet people on the phone. And he talks about it, he goes, dude, I went on this Tinder date, I met this girl at a bar, we had two beers, and then we just had sex in her car in the parking lot. And I was like, oh, that's a spicy tale. <laughs> That's how I react, by the way. <laughs> like a school marm from the 1800s, just like, oh, I want to hear the rest of this yarn. <laughs> let's get a mint julep, put a doily under it, and let's, uh, I want to hear this. But he told me that story, he goes, I'm like, yeah, just two beers and then sex in the car. He goes, yeah, and I was like, wow. Was she beautiful? Was she hot? Was she amazing? And he went, oh, no. <laughs> Like, he reacted like he remembered a tequila shot from a decade ago. And just went, no. Bleh. Like, he shuddered. There was a shudder to it. And I was like, and you did it anyway? And he goes, yeah, yeah, I did. I'm like, that's, that's amazing. I mean, like, I, for me to have sex with somebody, I gotta like you and be attracted to you. I know, I'm a psycho. That's just how I operate. I gotta like you and be attracted to you. My buddy Dane, that's not even on the top 10 list. And I was trying to figure out what's the difference between him and I, because he and I have been best friends since we were 12. I don't know if anyone here is a lifelong friend like that, but we are best friends since we were 12. And I'm like, how are we so different on this? And the only difference I could come up with was he grew up with a dad and I grew up without one. And that is a dad nugget to pass down to the son, this idea of like, well, sometimes you gotta do things even though you don't want to. <laughs> I didn't have that. He grew up with a dad that went off to work every morning. And he's probably like, hey dad, do you like going to work? Uh, hell no, but your kids get hungry. Well, he took that mentality into, well, I'm lonely and hard and there she is. <laughs> and I didn't have that. It's wonderful. Yeah, for me to sleep with somebody, I gotta like you and be attracted to you. But for the sex to be really good, I gotta love you. I really, I gotta love you. Sex without love, that's like going to Cold Stone, but not getting any of the toppings. It's like, really dude, just a scoop of vanilla? You could have done this at home by yourself. Why are you here? You put on shoes for this? Just. I like doing those jokes in front of like married and single people because it's fun. I like to hear the differences in it. Yeah. Like that first one about love, I love hearing the drop off on that joke because there's it's like a bell curve laugh and then it drops off. It's like ha 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 and then you realize you're with somebody here. So you just go ha ha. He's wrong. That guy's totally wrong. <laughs> it's fine.